Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to prevent another data entry issue by pre-filtering the results returned on a reference field. Users are really starting to take to the new safety app, and as they do so, they discover that when they pick a user from a reference field like Inspector, they're allowed to pick users who are no longer in the company. I'm going to use a feature called Reference Qualifiers to only show users who have the active checkbox checked on their profile, thus eliminating ex-employees and preventing bad data. First, I want to verify the issue. With any record, I'll try setting the inspector to something like George Washington. I know he doesn't work here anymore because the active field is set to false. Now to make the fix. I'll go to Studio, open up my safety application, and in the issue table, I'm going to locate the inspector column and open up that record from the list. In the reference specification section, I use the condition builder to tell it which records I want from the list. And save. Now to test my change. In the same record, I try selecting George Washington as the inspector and it won't let me. Even if I click the magnifying glass and check the filter, there's no way I can access the record from here. Data entry problem eliminated. The safety department has reported another problem. They can't assign any issues to their team members. They don't show up. Let's take a look at this field's dictionary definition. I can see that it's inherited from task and that it also has a filter on it, restricting it to only people with the ITIL role. This is because of ServiceNow's roots in ITSM. Some defaults don't apply to non-IT applications. Fortunately, this is easy to fix. Down here, I have a list of dictionary overrides. These allow me to change the behavior of the field for my application. I'm going to tell it to override the reference qualifier we saw in the dictionary entry, but unlike the inspector field where I added a filter, I'm going to leave this one blank so there's no filter. All team members are listed. A quick save, and back to the form to test my new behavior. And there are all my safety team members. Reference fields are very powerful, and there are some other options to reference qualifiers you might be interested in. To prevent users from selecting invalid data, I invite you to learn more about reference fields, reference qualifiers, and dictionary overrides at the product documentation pages listed here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.